Any projectile thrown, such as the ball, can be considered to have a vertical and horizontal velocity component. As shown in this diagram, blue is equal to horizontal velocity component and red is equal to vertical velocity component. Throughout the path of the projectile, change occurs only in the vertical direction due to the influence of gravity. While the horizontal component, the velocity will not change. Well, actually, there will be a very small slowdown in the horizontal direction due to air resistance. The vertical velocity of the projectile gets smaller on the upward path until it reaches the top of the parabola. At the top of the parabola, the vertical component of the velocity is zero. After that point, the vertical component changes direction and the magnitude increases in the downward direction, and the vertical distance traveled during each subsequent time interval increases. Every shot in tennis, besides overheads and some high volleys, need to be hit upward because most shots are hit between one's waist and shoulders and need to carry over the net. This ideal height of shots or ground strokes is about the same height as the net, so it must be hit an angle above the horizontal. Even on serves, it is important to hit a little upward because reaching an initial height and an X velocity where it could be hit horizontally or downward to get over the net is impossible. However, Finding the right projectile motion in tennis can be difficult without another downward velocity. This is because if I were to hit a ball that reaches a height 3 feet of over the net to be safe from hitting it, starting from an initial height about the same height as the net, how can I do this and still hit a fast and ideal shot? Not all tennis shots are flat, but top spin is at it for this reason. I can now hit a flat shot that is still able to clear the net easily and it will not soar too far out in doing so. The clips that you are watching now are excerpts from an online video that I found. It basically proves everything I just said right. If you look carefully, you can see how they're hitting it a little bit above the net so that when gravity pulls down, it lands on the other side.